So the Super Bowl happened, which means that commercials happened, which means that trailers happened, which means we're gonna be talking about some trailers. That sun is bright. Wow. Oh. So the first trailer I remember seeing was Raya and the Last Dragon. And uh, it was this little 30 second tease, that's what they all are. And I mean, there's been full trailers out for Raya and the Last Dragon. Um, but I think Disney did a big misstep on this one, especially as it's going out to the, you know, the masses who are watching the, <laughs> the football game. Who watches for the football game? Anyway, the masses who are watching, because it was very action oriented. I don't think that's what we're going to get out of Raya and the Last Dragon, especially after that last trailer that they put out. I'm interested to see how Raya and the Last Dragon goes because I don't think that it's what people think it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be a very action heavy film. Reason being, when's the last time you've seen Disney do good action? A Disney animation do good action. I'm not talking Pixar. I mean, Pixar does great stuff with like The Incredibles, great action pieces there. But no, Disney animation animation. They don't do good action really. Um, and there have been times where they've teased action before and not delivered. The, the, action is not Disney's strong suit. If this was a DreamWorks film, I would be all over this because DreamWorks is the best in terms of action anime, in, in terms of CGI action. I mean, Kung Fu Panda is amazing. How to Train Your Dragon. The action in those films are gorgeous and there's so much you can do in animation in terms of action. Uh, but Disney has not done that and so I'm a little worried. There's a really weird juxtaposition to the atmosphere versus the comedy. Uh, it did not work with Coco, which I know is, if that's Pixar, that's not Disney, but um, Coco had this really weird juxtaposition between atmosphere and comedy, and I, I saw that in Coco's trailers, I see that in these trailers here. don't think it's going to merge well. I think the comedy is not going to fit in well with the atmosphere that they're going for, and the action is going to be very few and far between, which is going to leave fans disappointed. That's my prediction on this thing, and I think it was a really bad idea to portray the action side, because that's going to get a lot of people initially interested, but if you're promising action and you don't deliver the action, you're going to disappoint a lot of people. I'm going to be honest, I'm a little worried about Raya and the Last Dragon. So the next trailer that I saw was a trailer for Old, which is a new M. Night Shyamalan movie, which, hmm, I don't know guys, this, M. Night Shyamalan is very hit or miss, and you don't really get much with this trailer, uh, at all, and it's, uh, it, it looks like there's people who, uh, go on vacation or on this, like, island or beach or whatever, and then children start aging up, that's about all we get, but, uh, with it being M. Night Shyamalan, I'm sure there's going to be a twist like at the end with, oh, this is what actually is going on. It's not what you it's not what you thought, and I don't know. It's nothing that really piqued my interest too much, but uh, it was there. And so the next trailer that uh, got dropped was the biggest one, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And this got not only a 30 second tease, but an entire uh, full trailer drop that went online right after, and this looks in Incredible. Uh, I'm super excited. You got Sharon Carter, she's back in here and she's kicking butt that little action beat. We've been running hard on the job. Yeah. Was so good. I loved it so much. The one thing that did kind of throw me off a little bit, uh, I will say, of the trailer was Sam and, and Bucky and they're kind of butting heads. I don't know why, like, they do nod to that a little bit in the, the, the movies, but I wasn't expecting it to be like a major. Uh, plot thing, uh, but the, the, the film, the film, the trailer literally opens with them in like a counseling session, and uh, it, it was it was interesting. Uh, I wasn't expecting that aspect to to be here, but it makes sense and uh, it looks fun. It looks really really fun. I'm excited. The next trailer was Nobody, 
which I love the concept of this movie. I mean, it's a very familiar revenge style concept, uh, but I love those movies. The John Wicks, Takens, uh, those kind of movies. And this looks very similar and it looks very, very good. I don't know what's going on with the Hello Kitty bracelet, uh, but it looks good. I stole my kitty cat bracelet. And you don't do that. Give me the kitty cat bracelet. Oh my we got to look at Fast and the Furious 9, and I don't know if it looks good or bad, to, to be honest. See, I never got into the Fast and Furious movies. I recently picked them up, though, from the thrift store, and I want to go through them this year to give them a, give them a chance, see if they're, they're good or not. Um, but anyway, yeah, that trailer did uh, come out, and it was there. So that's about all the trailers. There wasn't a lot, but uh, a few good ones in there. I would be remiss, however, if I did not at least mention the ads for Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus, was this something that we were asking for? Was this something that we needed? I didn't need this. From what I can figure out, this is CBS All Access being rolled into Paramount Plus. I don't know anyone who subscribes to Paramount or, or CBS All Access, and I have no idea who would subscribe to Paramount Plus. I guess every studio company is going to need to have their streaming service now so that they can have premiere access as well as theater access and stuff. It's, it's a whole thing. All right, well, that's all I've got for you today, guys, so thanks for watching. I will be back with another video tomorrow, so be sure to check back for that. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that jazz, and as always, I love you awesome nerds. I'll see you in the next one. Choo -choo -choo!